is up YouTube so in today's video we have the 2024 Detroit Tigers yes the Detroit Tigers so yesterday we played with the White Sox we lost um, whoever uh, comments a charity it has to be like a fairly well-known charity or at least a big charity that like I could trust and I know I'm like gonna donate to I'm donating $200 uh, to so keep that in mind chat so yeah Let's get into this. So, behind the dish, we have Jake Rogers. This is his live series card. He doesn't have a better card. I mean, at least he has an arm with solid uh, accuracy. And it, it, assuming we're going to be facing some bot, you know, uh, he could do good. I'm not guaranteeing it, though. But let's hope. At first base, we have Spencer Torkelson. He broke out a little bit this year. Showed us, you know, he can be that top prospect that we all thought he was. So that's good, and hopefully next year is better, especially with him getting more uh, consistent playing time now. At second base, we have the kid that just got an extension from the Detroit Tigers. Uh, it is currently Sunday at 4 o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. Uh, I believe it was Thursday, Thursday I want to say. Wednesday or Thursday, he got an extension. So uh, I would assume he's going to be on this opening day roster. At shortstop, we have Javi Baez. Uh, if you're like, Steven... You have the 97 Javi Baez and not the 99. Why? Because uh, I don't want to play the event because I'm lazy. And the 99 Javi Baez is expensive AF. So, yeah. Going with this one. <laughs> At third base, we have Nick Maton, the guy who can play all over. Uh, he's got a solid card for this Tops Now card. Decent defense. So, not too bad. In left field, we have Parker Meadows, one of their other top prospects. Brother of Austin Meadows. Uh, so hopefully he'll be playing uh, left field for them. He's got great defense and speed. Bats pretty solid too. So in center field we have the 97 player of the month uh, from May, Riley Green. Now you might be saying again, Stephen, why are you not using the 99 finest or the 90 whatever finest? I will show you, chat. You want to see why I'm not using the finest? That's why. Sure, the 97 uh, finest has better power versus left, better stealing, better fielding, and accurate uh, and reaction by two. But this one has much better contact, better power versus lefties, better vision, better speed, better arm strength, and blocking. But obviously, blocking doesn't matter. So this one is better, especially with contact. So I'm gonna take the contact. And then in right, we have the young stud rookie. Right fielder, Kerry Bonds, as we're, as people were calling him, or obviously his, his card says Kerry Carpenter. Uh, he has a very solid swing uh, from what I uh, know in-game. And uh, great defense, great speed, or great defense, solid speed, and a very solid bat as well. And then over at DH, I'm giving him one last hurrah, Miguel Cabrera. This is the last time we're going to see him in the game uh, for probably a few years. So, I figured, why not give Miggy one last hoorah send-off? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what is what is there to say about Miggy? He's basically what I would consider Mr. Tiger, like how Ernie Banks is Mr. Cub. He's basically Mr. Tiger. He's been there a long, long time, ever since I'm little. He's been with the Tigers. Um, obviously, he slowed down over the past few years um, just because of his age, I think. So, you know, he, he never was really the same. But he has 3,000 hits, 500 home runs, a couple gold gloves, I think one or two World Series rings. Like, th what? there's nothing you can say about Miggy that, like, isn't positive. This dude just basically, along with Albert Pujols, him and Albert Pujols are two easily guaranteed first ballot Hall of Famers. Yeah. Anyways, on the bench we have Matt Veerling, Carson Kelly... Matt, uh, Matt, Mark Canha, and Andy Ibanez. On the pitching side of things, we got Kenta Maeda, Matt Manning, Jack Flaherty, Reese Olsen, and the 99 Tariq Skubal, who will be getting the start in today's video. I like the signings that they made, by the way, in Kenta Maeda and Jack Flaherty. Those are not bad signings at all. Those are very solid signings, especially if they play really well for the Tigers. On the bullpen, it's a little bit weak, but very solid. Tyler Holton, Jason Foley, 
Jose Cisnero, which I think he needs to be taken out. I just realized that because I think the Angels just signed him, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't this the guy that the Angels just signed? Jose Cisnero. Yeah. Okay, so I got to take him out real quick, chat. Hold on. I think I'll just replace him with Trey uh, Wingenter. Yeah, perfect. All right, so sorry about that, chat. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Jason Foley, Alex Lang, Duque, Hebert, Andrew Chafin, Shelby Miller, and Will Vest. Uh, Andrew Chafin did go back to the uh, the Tigers this off this past off season, so that's cool. This is a guy I've been wanting the Yankees to try to get a hold of, but uh, they have yet to do so. So it sucks, but probably because he doesn't want to cut his hair, which I think is kind of stupid. For the Yankees' part, not his part. So, it is what it is. On the batting order, we got Riley Green leading it off. Then we got Javi Baez, Kerry Bonds, Miggy, Parker Meadows, Torque, Keith, Rogers, and Maton. In terms of the jerseys, we went with the, 95, the 1995 alts for the home and the 79 throwback retros for the road. Hopefully today we can catch, capture a win and uh, have a better game than uh, last time around. Where the frick is it? Holy moly, chat. Oh, here it is. Thanks to try to enjoy it while I can. Watch me face some goon now. The New York Rookies. Uh, he's got a stacked team and he's got Logan Webb. Interesting. We are the home team though, so that is a W. He is 240 and 392. Okay. Alright, Miggy. Let's try to send you off with the la one last hoorah. Trying to send you off with one last hoorah, baby. Not a check swing, of course. Of course. And he's gonna he's gonna fucking paint the corners because he knows that's where he's gonna get bailed out the most. Oh my fucking god. Miggy Miggy showing off the wheels! Let's go! Let's go, Miggy! We need to come back. We need to come back. I refuse to lose to this fucking bot. I refuse. Refuse. I refuse to lose to somebody who's about 100 games under 500. Walked him. Let's go. I'm so bailed. Holy fuck. Can this kid get any more fucking bailed? Oh my fucking god. I hate this game so much. It's between this and Siege that just make me want to fucking bash my head in. Come on. Come on, Carrie Bonds. Check your fucking swing! Thank you! Was that so fucking hard? Back up the middle. Let's go. Come on, Miggy. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Come on, Miggy. He's throwing some pitches down the middle on purpose. I feel it. I feel it. I fucking feel it, bro. 
Good eye, Miggy. Good eye, good eye. And, oh, let's go and ate him up. That ate him up. We're going to get a runner at third. First and third. Nobody out. Let's go, baby. God, the next team we do is the Yankees. I, I really do. For the love of Jesus Christ, please let the next team we do be the Yankees. Please. Javi again into the gap. That should be a double this time for sure. It is. There we go. Let's go, Javi. So at least I have t a team that actually knows how to hit. Because holy fuck, this is annoying. I should be teeing off right now, and I'm getting fucking screwed. That should be a home run, dude! Come on! I love how that's not a home run. I love how that's not a home run. This game is pathetic. Miggy, 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 let's go! Miguel Cabrera delivers a two-out double. Or a two-out RBI double, excuse me. Parker Meadows lets one bleed in. If, I, if he's getting rewarded for bullshit, I should be getting rewarded for bullshit. That's all I'm going to say. It should be 50-50. 50-50. And I got a perfect, perfect base hit with Jake Rogers, who I didn't think I was going to do anything with. Omega lol, dude. Omega lol. Dude, there's no way I fucking... I lose this game. I'll take a very late hit. Sure. Sure. It's only fair. Because it's... This is a very one-sided game right now. In this kid's favor. And it's fucking really annoying. Yeah, that would have been nice if that would have happened, like, last AB. So I could at least get a sack fly. 3-0 with Kerry Carpenter on deck. Good fight, good fight. Javi, back, back. All right, that's fine. That's another double. Two-run double for Javier Baez. Javier Baez putting in work. It's a 4-3 game here in the bottom of the seventh with two Outs. Kerry Carpenter. A.K.A. Kerry M.F. and Bonds. With a double. The team is striking late. It is a tie game with two outs here in the seventh inning. Miguel Cabrera. On his last year as a Tiger. Three for three. Two singles and a double. What will he do next? He'll get a base hit. They're sending Bonds. And he's in. Four for four day for Miguel Cabrera. So how are you not getting bailed? No. I had a couple of bailed hits late in the game. He had, he was getting bailed hits all game. I mean, God forbid I fucking throw a pitch and he hits it early for a home run. You know, that, that's perfectly fair in my book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jake Rogers has two hits on the day. My God. Two hits and a walk for Jake Rogers. The kid, this kid's lucky, chat. That's all I'm going to say. This kid's lucky. Oh, yeah. 
This kid is insanely lucky. Back up the middle for Javier Baez. Having a massive day today. I would have never thought out of all the guys on the Tigers for Javier Baez to have such a massive, massive day. Would have never guessed. Now we're going to face 99 Billy Wags. And now he's going to throw that 102 more inside to my lefties. Yeah, This kid's scared of me, chat. This kid is definitely scared of me. Uh-huh. Yep, he's scared. I can tell. I can tell just by the way he's pitching, he's scared. Four for four day for Miguel Cabrera. Five for effing five day for Miguel Cabrera, chat. Wow. If Canna had a better card with better clutch, I'd bring him in all day. But his clutch isn't there. Neither is, is, so like his contact wouldn't really change all that much versus a lefty. He's solid versus lefties, don't get me wrong. I wish he had a better card. Oh, dude, that was the pitch. That was the pitch for Parker to do something. 2-2 two, two count on Parker Meadows, the young left fielder for the Detroit Tigers, brother of Austin Meadows. Full count. Runners will be going. Count remains the same. Runners are going again. And he walks them loaded. Two outs, bases loaded for Spencer... Torkelson. Let's see what fucking next team we're doing. Hopefully it's a fucking team that actually has fucking contact that can fucking hit. The Seattle Mariners. That's at least a good team I can fucking do. Play ball.